Many thanks for joining, and this is Breakfast Central. You can follow us on all our socials. We're at New Central TV on Instagram, on Facebook, and if you're outside Nigeria, check us out on Twitter as well. Now, let's take a look at what stories are making the front pages of the papers this morning, and we're starting in Nigeria with the Daily Trust this morning. Now, the Daily Trust has quite a number of stories here, talking about the economy for 2022. Five bills that will shape the economy this year, that's what they're saying, with a rider that says new laws to replace archaic provisions in Customs Act others. Government can borrow more for critical reforms. That's on page five from the Daily Trust this morning. Now you can see this picture here also. This is another interesting story on page six. Captives, captives freed by Zamfara bandits leaders relieve ordeals. There's more details on that from page six of the Daily Trust this morning. Now on page five, Buari appoints Doin Salami as chief economic advisor. There's more details on that and much more other stories from the Daily Trust in Nigeria. And away from the Daily Trust, let's go still sticking to the Daily, but this time the Daily Nation, and we will be looking at the first story, Daily Nation from Kenya. Why Ruto climbed down on coalitions. Deputy President William Ruto's camp forced to drop hardline stance after realizing uh, going it alone isn't the best strategy. You can find out uh, what that story really has uh, in store. Aside from that story, which also makes the front page, we also have another one. DP's allies seek deal on party's bill. Some of his allies are negotiating to have certain offensive clauses expunged, even as MPs begin a three-day special sitting to consider the controversial bill. Now, this kind of like reminds me of the Nigerian Electoral Bill, where uh, uh, many are asking that a certain uh, aspect of the bill should be expunged as well. So a bit of similarities. Well, we're still in the same continent, Africa, so we do not expect uh, uh, to see a lot of differences. Schools now set tough conditions for students. You can see the picture just down below there where students are sitting on the floor. It's not a punishment, I would want to say, or anything like that. But I guess you could read to find out what it's all about. We also have scandal, crime, and Africa. Daily Nation is fully packed. Make sure you check it out. And from Kenya, the Daily Nation will move into Tanzania. We're looking at the citizen this morning. Now, the president of Tanzania is coming out and she's breathing fire. Samia breathes fire as we shuffle looms. Now, this is ahead of the 2025 elections that will be coming up in Tanzania. Now, she has this quote right here I will come up with a new cabinet, a new cabinet list soon, and release all those who want to strategize ahead of 2025. I want to remain with people who are focused on delivering, end of quote. But there's more details than that on page two of The Citizen. Now, the people of Tanzania might be happy because it seems they might be starting the new year on a very high note. Fuel prices down marginally, it says here. It's on page three. You can see the cars there. Um, a liter of petrol will cost between tw four shillings and 35 shillings less. That's what it says. Uh, you can also get more stories on that. But that's a good one when it talks about fuel prices down marginally. There's more on that from page three of The Citizen's. Government extends registration of company beneficial owners. Well, you can go to The Citizen, page two, for more on that. And away from The Citizen, let's take you straight to Uganda, where we have the new vision. Uh, front page right there. Let's go first uh, at the top. No vaccination, no teaching, Minister Muyingo says. Check it out on page eight. If you are not vaccinated as a teacher in Uganda, forget it. You are not going to step your foot into the classroom talkless of teaching the students as well we're ready to pay we are ready to pay says national social security fund page seven has that story and uh, museveni signs nssf bill what next big question when well, you can find that same man uh, just at the bottom page right there making the front page indeed where he's taking the booster jab and you can see his all relaxed calm Unlike some governors who might be shouting and crying even before they feel that penetration of the middle. In the meantime, don't forget, we also have other stories. Army, 68,000 veterans to undergo fresh verification. That's true. Are there ghost workers in the army? That story is also here uh, and in the New Vision, page 6. And uh, I'll take one more, just one last one. And that's got to do with transport. Operators meet minister over fares. Page five has got that story so that's all we have for you on the front pages of the papers this morning on a very very beautiful 
Wednesday morning. Time for us to bring to you the top stories right here on Breakfast. <music>